Hello everyone, welcome to our channel today. Today we are going to discuss another formula in sheet clearing formula in different organs. The name of this formula is Yu Nu Jian. Yu Nu Jian from the name. In in this category, we always discuss from the name because from the name of the formula, you will see just in general what this formula is used for, same as this formula, Yu Nu Jian. Yu Nu Jian, Yu Nu. It's actually it, Yu Nu, this character, it's words of pattern. It's actually describe a young girl, a very beautiful young girl, also with high moral or very good moral girl. So from the name, we actually can see this formula and a girl is female so it's actually in yin and yang this formula is used for yin condition but which yin condition? yu nu yu nu jian jian is a decoction a type of cooking method so it's in from the name we will know this formula is used for yin condition but which in condition? Let's see the ingredients first. The ingredients of Yu Ni Jian are Shi Gao, Zi Mu, Shu Di, Mai Dong, Niu Xi. So there are so there are only five different ingredients in this formula. From the des description, the symptoms of this formula is used for patient feel thirsty and irritate. Patient may have headache and toothache. Sometimes the patient will have gum bleeding, red tongue, yellow coating, yellow and dried coating. As you can see from the ingredients, the first two ingredients are Shi Gao and Zi Mu. Do you still remember the, the formula? Bai Hu Tang. Bai Hu Tang is used for heat in Yang Ming or in Qi level. Yang Ming is a stomach meridian. So Yang Ming, food Yang Ming stomach meridian. So actually Bai Hu Tang is used for the heat in the stomach or the heat in Qi level. The ingredients of Bai Hu Tang are Shi Gao, Zi Mu, Gan Chao Ji Mi. We have discussed in the previous video, Bai Hu Tang, Shi Gan Chao, and Ji Mi. Ji Mi is kind of a rice. It is used for to tonify the spleen or to prevent have the spleen damage or stomach damage because Shi Gao and Zi Mu are very cold. Same as this formula. The first two ingredients are Shi Gao and Zi Mu. So from these two herbs, we will know that in this, con this, this kind of patient have severe stomach heat. From which symptoms you can see the stomach heat? The patient will have toothache or gum bleeding. The, the patient may have headache. This one is very similar to Qing Wei San, the one we took, the, the previous one we, took, we discussed. Qing Wei San, the patient also have a headache. Uh, the, the patient also have a headache and also have, may have toothache and swollen on the face. So these are the symptoms of stomach heat. But at the meantime, they have another two herbs. Shu Di Huang and Mai Dong. Shu Di is a herb to tonify kidney yin. Mai Dong is tonify stomach yin. Actually, you see this kind of patient, this kind of condition, the patient has stomach heat. The heat will consume the fluid in the body. So the patient will have stomach yin deficiency. That's why in this formula we use Mai Dong. Mai Dong sweet 
and cool or sweet cold. This sweet and cold can generate in and my don't go to stomach meridian. So my don't can benefit the stomach in directly. At the meantime, the patient have kidney in deficiency. How do we know the patient we have kidney in deficiency? That's also why we use Su Di Huang here. The patient have a kidney in deficiency. The toothache is different from the, the other toothache, which is due to the summer heat. The patient may feel toothache, but the patient will tell you where the patient feels pain is in the teeth or in the gum. Inside of the gum, in the bone, they feel in the bones of the gum, they feel the pain. And so it's not a swollen on the gum or the around or in the mouth. It's actually the patient will tell you that they feel something or they feel the pain in the bones of the gum. Why they have the, the pain in duck in there in the bones? It's actually because of the heat in the in level. Especially in kidney, with kidney insufficiency, the patient have deficiency heat. Then they will cause it. They will it will cause this kinds of toothache. And also from the pulse, from the pulse, we can see from the tongue because of the stomach heat. We can see the patient have red tongue, yellow coating. But the the pulse. The pulse of the, this, this kind of patient, the pulse is rapid and thumb. So why the patient has this rapid and thumb, like a string, like a line, the pulse you feel is not big, not thick. The, the width of the, your pulse when you feel, you can feel the very thumb. It actually indicates the indeficiency, especially in Ci area. So when we use the pulse, we use these three area. Chun, Guan, Ci. Especially at the Ci level, we can feel very thin pulse. This actually indicates the kidney deficiency. That's why here we use Su Di Huang to tonify kidney in there's one more herb here, Niu Xi. The main function of Niu Xi actually is to Niu Xi have the, actually Niu Xi has the function of bringing Qi or the heat downwards. So in the in herbal so in herbal medicine we go to the we got the guiding herbs, and Niu Xi is one of the most typical herbs to guide the Qi or the heat downwards. There's another one, Jie Geng. Jie Geng is the herb to bring the Qi upwards. So why we use Niu Xi here is because the heat causes the gum bleeding and the heat in in level. So the heat is supposed to stay in the kidney or stay in lower jaw, but the because of the deficiency, the deficiency heat goes upwards to the mouth, to the head, causes cause the headache. At this time, we use Niu Xi to bring the Qi downwards back to the lower jaw. That's how we use Yu Nu Jian to help this condition. This condition, the patient have two different conditions. One is the stomach heat. But at the meantime, the patient will have kidney insufficiency. So this kind of condition is more complicated than the non. So so this kind of condition is more complicated compared with the other condition, and also we need to be careful. If the patient have stomach heat, kidney insufficiency, which you can see from the tongue, from the bleeding gum or the toothache, 
of the pulse. They have kidney insufficiency. But at the meantime, sometimes the patient will have spleen yang deficiency in this kind of patient because actually this kind of patient they have digestive system problem poor appetite they sometimes have diarrhea they may have diarrhea so these can indicate the patient have spleen yang deficiency although they have temporary stomach heat when we see this kind of patient when we use shigao and zimu we need to be aware of the dose of shigao and zimu because these are cold. We sh need to consider the, the amount we use, the dose we use, also the time, the duration we're going to use. So we, it should not use for too long of period because it's going to cause spleen yang deficiency, we call the other problem. What's more, when we use this kind, when we see this kind of patient, in this formula, we also can add some herbs to benefit the spleen to prevent the formula cause the spleen problem. Such as we can add such as san yao, bai bian dou, fu lin, mai ya, gu ya, dang sheng, or tai zi sheng to benefit the spleen. Thank you for watching our video today. For more information, you can visit our website.